see the crab apples are doing really well. As are the hawthorn and the dog dog rose hawthorn. A dog dog rose berries. Oh look, there's a robin in there. Flitting about. I don't know if you can see him. Hey Mr. Robin, he's flown away. But there's right there you have hawthorn berries, ivy berries, and you have dog rose um, haws. And then in here, there's the crab apples. The crab apples, lots of them have fallen to the ground. Loads of crab apples have fallen. So loads of food for the wildlife. Anyway. I'm down here in our fields that are down by the river, which got flooded. We rent them out. My mother rents them to uh, another farmer. But the river is definitely, the river is just on the other side of that line of trees. We allow the, tr the banks of the river to have a thick stand of willows and trees. So, yeah. It's well flooded today. You can see the river running. It was, it came right up here. You can see it came all the way up to here. And look, <laughs> it washed crab apples out. There's a pile of crab apples and there's a pile of cat crab apples. So when the river was at the height of its flooding, it washed all the crab apples from along the bank out into the field. So you can see the piles of crab apples. They floated out this far into the field. Look at them all. <laughs> all the way over here are the crab apples. And that was when the river was at its height of the flood. So it's going down. You can see there was more pressure on this grass here from the floodwaters. So it's still running. At least it's not standing water and it's very clear. There's another crab apple there standing right there. Loads of crab apples in it. A beautiful sunny day after the storm yesterday. We're due more rain tomorrow. The orchard's looking beautiful. Oh dear. A stuck sheep at the far end of the orchard. What are you doing? Yeah, I can see. You stuck? You stuck in the brambles? Yes, yeah, silly, Egypt. 
You're daft, Aegis. What you doing? Hey, back off. No, no, back off. Hey, yay, hey, leave her. There we go. Well, that was unsticking her. Maya, Inca. You didn't make things any better. Your whining frightened her, but maybe that got her going. Anyway, she was well and truly stuck there in the brambles for a little while, leaving behind her wool. In the days of yore, there would have been people collecting these bits of wool and spinning them as if for yarn to knit socks or sweaters. So this would have been collected and valued. It's funny the evolution now, whereas these scrappy bits have no value whatsoever. At the same time, those people who valued these scraps were very, very poor people. Still, the change of value is the change of human circumstance. <laughs>